What is up guys, it's me, Chewing Fruit Gum, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my opinion on the top 5 most useful scratch blocks. Let's dive right in, starting with number 5. Number 5, Touching Mouse Pointer. So, you might be wondering, why do I rank Touching Mouse Pointer so highly? Well, I think Touching Mouse Pointer is a very important block and it's used in so many games. What this block does is basically tells your project what's happening. It's an interactive block and can make your game way more professional and fun to play. Let me do a quick example. Okay, so right now we got a plain start button. When I click on it, nothing happens. This is a pretty boring game. So, this is how to use touching mouse pointer to make your games more professional. So, let's get one green flag click. Forever. If else, touching mouse pointer, then let's change the size. So if we're touching mouse pointer, let's set size to 110. If we're not touching mouse pointer, let's set size to 100. Now for the brightness, let's set brightness to 0 to begin with. And when we're touching mouse pointer, let's set brightness to 10. Let's see how this works. So when I press the green flag, and hover over my start button, it responds to the effects because I use touching mouse pointer. This is how to use the block to enhance your games and make them look way more professional and high quality to play. Number 4, Key Press. This block is definitely Game Maker's most favorite block. This block allows so many cool things to happen in your games, such as players being controlled and so much more. Something that's really helpful for you that you may not know is you can change what key is pressed. Space is the default, but by clicking where it says space, you get all these options, such as up arrow, down arrow, right arrow, left arrow. So, I'm going to show you guys how this block works by making the character move when you press the space bar. Let's begin. So, go and get one green flag click, forever, if, key space pressed, then we're going to change y by 1. There we go. Now let's test this out. I press space, and look, our cat moves. This is an example of how to use this block. You can use it for making lots of fun games like platformers where you control the player, and lots more games. Number 3, Broadcast. This block is insanely useful and used in tons of different games and animations. This block may be a little hard to understand for new scratchers, but think of this block as saying, say a message. So let's pretend in our game, our player just died. So, we can make a new message and say, player died. You don't have to do this part, but I'm going to add some build up code to make the code make sense. So, I made it so that once your hearts are out, your player dies. How this works is when your hearts equal zero, it'll broadcast player died. Once you broadcast a message, you have to go and click when I receive. So, once you receive the message, this is where you make the thing happen. So once our player dies, we want a screen that says game over to show up. So, because our message is being broadcast that our player dies, now all I gotta do is drag in that costume, and there we go. It's broadcasting the message, so here it goes on the screen. This is how broadcasting messages works. Number 2 go to x y by default this block is set to go to x 0 y 0 this is dead center of the canvas by typing in different numbers you can change where your sprite goes on the screen let's test this when I click on this block notice how our sprite moves across the screen every time you change the x value to more positive of a number it goes to the right. Every time you make it a more negative number, it'll move more to the left. Same with the Y. If it's more high of a number, it goes up. If you lower the number, it goes down. This block is very useful for helping you set up your projects and properly position your sprites. Number 5. For a final block, I chose Create Clone of Myself. The block Create Clone of Myself creates a duplicate of your sprite on the screen. Clones are used in many famous games such as Geometry Dash, Minecraft, Slither.io, and so many more. 
I'm just going to do a quick demo for you to show you how cloning works. So first, let's go and get one green fly click, repeat times 10, and I'm going to get create clone of myself, then turn 15 degrees, and in looks, we're going to change our color effect by 25. Now if I test this out, notice how multiple cats appear and they all do a different thing. This is what cloning is. A quick warning about cloning. Once you reach 300 clones, your scratch project will lag and crash. When you use clones, make sure you go and get the delete this clone block and use it after you're done with your clones. In this video, I rank touching mouse pointer 5th, key space press 4th, broadcast message 3rd, go to x0, y0 2nd, and create clone of myself 1st. Well guys, that's it for this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. I'm Chewing Fruit Gum. Bye.